Alright, so I have a really awesome way to fool someone into walking in straight into your trap. They're probably definitely going to die. Um, you can do this two ways. You can do it with a pressure plate or you can do it with a trap chest. Some people will notice the trap chest though because of the redness around the little lock mechanism. But most people will not notice this. However, they can notice it and have like really quick movement and jump back. So I'm going to show you with the pressure plate first. So go ahead and dig out the side here. All right. So when you hit this pressure plate, let me show you. you should activate that redstone, which is good. You want that to happen? Actually, I need to dig further out because I need room for this. That is necessary for this event because it lights it and it's going to light the, um, the pistons when they activate, which I should probably set up. Mm. is good. Now actually I'm going to have to do one more. Anyway, it should be looking like this so far. So once you have it like this, all you have to do is make sure it reaches down to the end. Use along the wall. Alright, so when you hit the uh, pressure plate here, it turns this on, which turns this off, and all of those will retract. So, demonstration here. Alright, so most people aren't going to fall for it straight away, like if they could be walking really fast and hit it, or they could be going slow. So what I recommend doing is putting a big delay on all of the repeaters. So they will walk into it farther before they notice. Alright. So now, I'm going to show you the way with the trap chest. So basically, the way the trap chest works is it's just like the pressure plate. When you open it, uh, the, you know, it activates the, the redstone. So, I actually need to be over here to place this down. So, as you can see, it does activate it. I can put that back. Put that back. I'm not sure if it'll activate it through that. Yeah, it will. Okay. So, that's good. This way is definitely going to work. Oh, wait. Right, right, right. You need to put the torch down. That is very important. Alright, so this way it's probably going to work more if they don't notice the, uh, you know, the red around it. Because they're going to stand here. Uh, it's probably good to block off their jump too so they can't stand on top. Mm, that's one tricky thing. They stand on the very edge. That way it's definitely going to work more if they don't notice it. So, yeah, that's how you build two traps. Really simple. Fold me. Probably will fold someone else. And that's it.